the expectation to conform is just so much higher for women. Um, to stand out in any way is discouraged. And uh, to be assertive, definitely so. Many people used to tell me that uh, as soon as I saw you for the first time, uh, like the first image that I have of you is that you're a bitch. I've been bullied pretty heavily because like, um, because people thought I was weird, people thought like I'm, I was strange and everything. So, um, and I never had any friends. When I started the challenge was that when I was doing it, I was like, what do you do? 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 अभी हॉस्टल में वगैरह ही देख लो कुछ लोग आते हैं अभी पहले बार वो लोग आएंगे बैठेंगे तो लोगों को पता चला कि ब्लाइंडिंग सेंस उधर से उठके चले जाएंगे एक स्कूल संपत्ति पुलिट मी पता है कॉलेज लो पति पुलिट मी एंड माय टीचर सपोर्टेड मी मोस्ट ऑफ माय स्कूलिंग इयर्स वर वेरी लोनली बिकॉज़ because I didn't relate with most of my peers. Billy meets it's tiring. Sometimes I do want people to understand um, ADHD more because I have trouble asking for help. Girls with autism, I think, is a learning journey even for professionals like myself. Um, you know, we used to say so confidently that the ratio is four to one. And now we are not sure anymore because we recognize that we are way under diagnosing girls. So I officially got diagnosed at the age of 16, but uh, even before that, I used to feel that, you know, I'm not like others. So uh, I went through a series of misdiagnoses and eventually it took me 16 years to actually get diagnosed. I kind of feel that, you know, I should look strong even though I'm not. I face problem in verbal communication, then I communicate to chat. There were like, like very different, very like poles apart different masks that I had and everyone used to wonder like why I become a completely different person when I like change places. In masking their symptoms as in, um, uh, you know, they figured out what is expected or they are able to imitate what is expected even though it doesn't feel natural to them. Because when you don't feel accepted, when you don't feel like, um, when you're not understood, I think that's when you, you tend to mask because you know, you want to fit in. And so the burden on the mental health of girls is huge. Uh, when it comes to mothers, uh, yes, I, um, feel that there is a lot of pressure on mothers. I think blaming mothers for a child's developmental differences is as old as the hills. So, they have a little bit of a working woman. So, they have to say that you don't teach your children to manage your children, or you don't give your children time, so it's like this. तो वहाँ पे ऐसा रोज होता था कि मैं गार्डन से जब लौट रही हूँ इसको खेल खिलाके और रोज रोना आता था। Arti is now an adult. Physically, she looks like a person who has a disability. And so we would meet people in the lift or on the road or somewhere, and I would very often get this. इसको कुछ किया नहीं किया ये बाबा के पास लेके नहीं गए आप मंदिर नहीं गए आप ये ताविज पहनो आप ये करो। There was one mother I'll never forget her. She told me she says you know you would think that my mother-in-law lives in another state, but every single morning she will call and she will say लड़का बोलने लगा। Has he started talking yet? And every morning I will have to say no. And that kind of complete, you know, torture. It, because it is torture. I, I didn't leave my job. So starting out, I used to feel it's my responsibility. I have to do everything. And then I burnt out. Okay? So very quickly. The biggest thing is that if I have to work with my child, if I don't relax, then I can't do it. 
As a parent, it's been, uh, of course, interesting, challenging, uh, sometimes frustrating because not because of Arti's autism or her behaviors in any way, because I can't understand. That's been the frustrating part because I know that there's something there that she's trying to, for example, express, but because I don't get it as as well as I think I should, that's been the frustrating part. I don't want people to think that as the mom of a neurodivergent kid that you are this, you know, this, this kind of angel who's just patient all the time and doesn't yell at her kids. I've yelled at my kids, I've shouted at them, I've whacked them, I've done everything because that's how I felt. Do not get obsessed over uh, that, you know, if I do nine hours of therapy, my kid is going to come out of this, nothing like that's going to happen. Uh, the more you take care of your own mental health, the more you'll be able to contribute to your child. And Anupama, we have always met each other. It was not like that, that Anupama left and said, you do it, you go. No. So, we both do it together. So, what happened to her was that frustration didn't come out. After so many years, I've come to realize that, okay, that was not really me. I was hiding so much of my autistic traits, so much of my identity. Like, you know, masking, I didn't know, like, I was masking for so many years. I only got to know it, like, um, few years back that you know what masking actually is. I have increased my confidence that I have no. I have to say that the people who have kept my attitude that I have to do nothing, I have to change. So I started creating boundaries actually around me. I am very upfront now, I can say to say no. And I have to show people that I am possible and there is nothing that I can't do. I stand on the shoulders of strong women who stood up for me and I hope each one of us can be that for other women, that we can be the strong shoulders that they can lean on, stand on, and become stronger, irrespective of where on the neurodiversity spectrum they are.